You know, there are two types of clomiphene. Let's talk about it. It's a common medication that we often use in achieving a pregnancy, especially in cases of polycystic ovarian syndrome. So before we go to the two types, what is clomiphene? And it's made up of two different forms of isomers or chemicals. And clomiphene, that makes it 62% of the mixture. What is it? It is the stronger part that helps to trigger ovulation. And zoom clomiphene, that makes up 38%. And this stays in the body longer, just maintaining the effect of clomiphene. All medical regulators require that clomiphene products contain between 30 and 50% zooclomiphene to make sure that the medication works properly. Now, if you look at how clomiphene works, in simple ways, think of your body hormone system like a thermostat that controls temperature. Normally, the brain can sense how much estrogen is in your body and that adjusts other hormones accordingly. Clomiphene is a phenomenal drug. It tricks your brain by blocking estrogen receptors and this is what happens. Your brain now thinks that there isn't enough estrogen. So it responds. It responds by releasing two hormones called FSH and LH. These hormones act on the ovary and tell the ovary to start developing and releasing one or more eggs. And this is how it increases your chances of falling pregnant, especially in PCOS. Why does this matter? I think understanding the two parts of clomiphene helps doctors to create the most effective version. And in some countries, you'll form a different combination of drugs while in the large majority, you will find that N-clomorphine and zooclomorphine are given in very much a fixed manner.